friends, in this episode, I'm going to share some tips for choosing a sewing machine, what I think is a good sewing machine for beginners or more advanced sewers, and also what comes with the sewing machine. If you're new to sewing, you may be confused about what features you should look for in a sewing machine. Here are some of my tips for buying a sewing machine. Don't buy an expensive computerized sewing machine that has a lot of fancy stitches on it. When you're first starting out with sewing, you just want to buy a basic mechanical machine that has the basic stitches that you need. It'll be less confusing and you won't be paying for extra features that you don't really need. Even though you may be on a tight budget, I don't recommend buying an inexpensive, meaning under $100, sewing machine. It probably won't work very well, which can be very frustrating when you're first learning to sew. Frustration may even make you give up on sewing. Buying a sewing machine that's easy to use is so important. The price range that I recommend when you're buying a good quality sewing machine is $150 to $200. The basic sewing stitches that you'll need on your machine are a straight stitch, You'll be using this stitch for about 90% of your sewing projects, a zigzag stitch, and a buttonhole feature. <laughs> Buy a sewing machine that has a good weight to it. The more inexpensive sewing machines are made with plastic parts on the inside. What happens when you sew on this type of machine is that the sewing machine will start shaking because it doesn't have enough weight to hold it still while you're sewing. Buy a sewing machine that has good speed and strength, that has some power to it. Read the reviews of the sewing machines you're considering buying, especially if you're going to buy your sewing machine online. If you have a good fabric store close to you, ask if they have sewing machines that you can try out in the store before you buy. All products are linked in the description below this video. The sewing machine that I recommend is the Singer Heavy Duty 4411. It's a great sewing machine for beginners and more advanced sewers. It's the Singer sewing machine that I bought in 2017. I use it for my own sewing projects. Singer has a whole line of heavy duty sewing machines and the 4411 is their basic model, which doesn't mean that it's not as good as the other models. It just means that the 4411 doesn't have the extra features, like more types of stitches, that I don't think you need to have for most of your sewing projects. So it's less confusing to learn how to sew on it and it's a great choice for beginners. The Singer Heavy Duty 4411 is a good heavy duty sewing machine for any skill level, beginners to more advanced sewers. It has all of the basic features that I mentioned before and many more. At under $200, this is an affordable sewing machine that should last for years. The Heavy Duty 4411 has a metal frame with a plastic skin. The metal frame gives it more stability, so it doesn't shake when you sew with it. This machine has a handle which makes it easier to move around if needed. The strength of the motor is 60% stronger than the average sewing machine. This means that it can sew through heavier fabrics like denim if you have the proper needle in it. The Singer Heavy Duty 4411 has 11 built-in sewing stitches, including 6 basic stitches which are a straight stitch, zigzag stitch, a mending stitch, a stretch blind hem stitch, a regular blind hem stitch, and an overlock stitch. It also has four decorative stitches and a four-step buttonhole feature. There's a dial to choose your needle position, either middle, left, or right. These three needle positions will be helpful when you're using the different stitches. 
You'll use all three needle positions when you sew a buttonhole. This sewing machine is more powerful than inexpensive home sewing machines, so it sews faster. It has a maximum speed of 1100 stitches per minute. A great light is important when you're sewing, and this machine has a very bright built-in LED light. On the front of the sewing machine is a storage compartment to hold all of the parts that come with it. The free arm is removable and gives you a way to sew anything that is tube shaped, like when you need to hem a pair of pants or you're making a drawstring bag. The top drop-in bobbin holder is easier to use than a side bobbin holder. The clear bobbin case makes it easy to see how much thread is left on the bobbin. The bobbins are clear plastic number 15 bobbins and are very easy to find in the fabric stores or online. You can make buttonholes very easily with the buttonhole foot and the buttonhole stitches that come on the sewing machine. Another great feature is that the presser feet are easy to change out. You can easily sew very lightweight and heavyweight fabrics by adjusting the presser foot pressure on the back of the sewing machine. You can also easily lower the feed dogs on the 4411 with a special lever on the back of the sewing machine. This allows you to do free motion quilting and you can sew on a button using the button sewing foot. On the left side of the sewing machine is a thread cutter, which comes in handy if you don't have a pair of scissors close by. Here's what comes with the Singer Heavy Duty 4411. It comes with a soft plastic cover. Instead of using the cover that comes with the machine, I bought a hard plastic sewing machine case. The other items that come with this machine are a foot pedal, four bobbins. It also comes with four needles in different sizes. It comes with four different presser feet, a regular presser foot, a zipper foot, a buttonhole foot, and a button sewing foot. There's a seam guide that attaches to the back of the machine and it'll help you create larger seam allowances. This is useful for creating a hem or it can be used when you need to sew several stitch lines that are the same distance apart. This works great for quilting fabrics. This sewing machine comes with two spool holders. The horizontal spool holder is used for thread that is wound in a diagonal pattern. The vertical spool holder is used for thread that is wound straight around the spool. Two spool caps come with the machine, a larger one for bigger spools of thread and a smaller one for smaller spools of thread. There's also a felt pad which goes under the vertical spool holder. There's a screwdriver which can be used to change out the needle or to remove the throat plate for cleaning with a brush. A brush also comes with it and it can be used to clean out the lint from under the throat plate. The brush also has a seam ripper inside of it. The Singer Heavy Duty 4411 comes with a quick and easy setup guide. I don't have mine anymore, but if you order this machine, it should come with the startup guide. You'll also get an instruction manual. When I bought my machine a few years ago, it came with the instruction manual. If you buy your machine now, you may have to download and print out the instruction manual, which I highly recommend you do. It has a lot of great information that will help you understand your sewing machine more quickly. So those are my tips and recommendations for buying a sewing machine. I hope you found this review of the Singer Heavy Duty 4411 helpful. Thanks for watching and happy sewing! Mm -hmm.